Hello guys, welcome. I'm here to discuss a theory. So remember that time when I bought this whiteboard? So basically I'm using it to explain you guys my uh, 150 IQ mind, which we're going to discuss right here, right now. Okay, so basically I made this uh, map, which basically allows you to switch different kinds of patterns around in a circular formation using the legend you could now uh, pause the video and understand the concept of this huge theory that will be able to help you identify human actions and why humans act the way they do based on science and math and angular perceptions so you will have the ability to have smartness and smartness is good because it creates the world in a to be a better place, right? Okay, so uh, basically this triangle represents the leadership triangle and it represents your egoism as you are ported into a certain point which is the location placement of your belief. Now your angle, assured general perspective angle belief which is basically when you start being, bo when you're born, you're, you start ticking and you start doing things that are associated to you gathering different kinds of beliefs. Now, the knowledge field is something that usually uh, stays or, or, or is gained by you in a way that sorts information from knowledge in, in itself, and that moves to categorical reality. So it expands from the point of perspective to reality to facts, which is pretty obvious right now, but it's gonna get a lot harder with uh, all the uh, ideas here. Okay, so then it goes larger variance. Lar in, in larger variance, norm state of average mind width, and then basically that is the, the, the different kinds of new things that you gather as you're just born as a kid. Imperfection of utilized facts, which is basically like when you're a baby, you're developing perfection of perfection of foot. So basically when you fault, I think it's fault, Wait, fool, 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 foot. So the idea that you are a perfectionist, but you're not a perfectionist because you're uh, just a perfectionist in perception. You're not a perfectionist in fact. For example, there is that idea and that we constantly cannot follow facts because it's just too hard. So this is just a couple of thoughts on the leadership triangle. Now this is, I don't know, it's not called a compass, but it basically measures distances. So if this part measures uh, against this distance, it cannot cover this field of perception because factually this field of perception is this big and this distance is this small. So technically you're only getting a quarter of what you see there. And that's distance of belief and likelihood of irrelevant relativity. Now that fact leads to the next thing, which leads to individual self-argument reality, which leads to positive response to action. And I, and I wrote it in squiggly lines because it gets unclear. The boundaries are getting erased. Now, on, in another video or this video, I will tell you about the theory of volume, area, and uh, perimeter on how that is utilized in a factual formulation on how we think in our mind. Okay, now percentage of accepted reality of physical significance abstract. So whenever you accept materialistic wealth, you would move from the, your perception into being here. But then again, you could also have a dual perception system. So this uh, wheel, I have made it in circular formations that it will rotate to the two beliefs that you believe in and then you could advance down the chart based on certain different types of uh, belief systems and structures okay so if you advance to perception reality of accepted reality of physical significant abstraction you will go into sensory feelings matching perception of the occurring general whole population the physical uh, physical association so physical desires bordering reality and that is when you start to hallucinate because you became a little bit too biased with the idea of moving things just on a materialistic basis now that's kind of what it leads to it's kind of obvious if you think about it but it gets harder it gets much harder so let's say we we are trying to go for being a perfectionist we will run into this problem consideration assurance open-mindedness development mind thought okay that's not really a problem but then we have masochism sadism thoughts to memory 
So then, as a perfectionist, we will have sadism thoughts to memory unless we bypass that. And if we bypass that, then where are we going to let less loss of ability? We bypass that one. Let's say, for example, delusions, illusions, lost info. We could be um, not gaining a lot of info if we're not going to get a lot of mistakes because we haven't really tried. So we're going to go for trial and error. As we go for trial and error, we're going to maybe go you know, uh, end up in the zone where the shamans are, where people of a very you know, low, vibra high vibration and a negative nature reside to judge uh, people in society. Like shaman felt experience of inactivity and hellish perspective concerns based on utilized facts. So that goes from being a perfectionist to one of those shamans over there. Now we're going to go in again. Um, desireness to knowledge action okay so if you're more of a synthesis thinker you would go this way frequency world action to mind connection and affection so that will push you back so the way you will have to go on this map is you would have to go factual curve expanding randomness in order boxed in borders so you are you've been boxed in with your synthesis mind if you think on the spot now you can't really you could only proceed to the next one, which you could choose which one fits you more on, on the scale and go down there. So variation of internal physical body affecting mind, zaps of electricity visits frequency of the body. That's how you get to that state of mind by being synthetic. So you're letting yourself go. You're not defining your emotions. So now you broke up your feelings into one, two, three, four, five, six different types of parts. So you you uh, disassociated your harmony of your body together. Okay, now we're going to go to Missa Missa idealized the factual best interpretation of existence for scene per object. So that is the best way that you could consider and accept open-mindedness to what people present to you or show you as a factual re reference to the object in all of its ways, not skipping a way of it being insignificant, most likely. Concepts of connected general beliefs. Okay, now we have a negative charge here because this is uh, resembling close to schizophrenia, percentage of changed reaction of expectation per physical observation. Observation. So when you have negative ideas about capitalizing on the world, which is similar, as you see, it is exactly parallel to the one about being uh, very materialistic, is because thoughts can capitalize in the same form of manner as materialistic wealth, because they both seek um, desires for power. Okay. Distance, likelihood of relativity, individual self, positive response to action. Okay, so a lot of people, you know, there is no right or wrong. There is negative responses and positive ones. So positive ones lead to deception, turnaround, a factual analysis to buy stimuli, area of avoidance to fact, concept of self, disloyalty, concepts of progress from current state. So the person leaves his current state, so he's not loyal, but he's making progress. And also um, positive um, reinforcement and positive thinking also leads to unknown reactions. The gestalt's principle, because you have not gained a negative reaction. So if you combine the two, negative and positive, you could kind of know more of the unknown, which is still needed to be in discovery. Now you need some kind of FTP uh, connection uh, chemical balance to attack the unknown side, which is uh, told by the Gestalt's principle. I didn't make it. It's about a Jewish philosopher who basically uh, observed our thermal energy in our body and how it affects different kinds of uh, zones uh, that are that are not calculated by any kind of fact. So we bring in our fact, we bring in our emotions into the zones that is unknown to us. That is called survival and adaptability. Okay, we're moving, we're moving out. Negative self-reassurance mindset versus mind state. General overview of avoided specific facts. Systemic procedural existence support. 
So basically people who are negative, they fall into another form of apathy, either if they're positive, I'm just stating the negative sides of both sides in a way, so you guys can be more open-minded in thinking and collecting information. Now, what is going on here is that our mindset is how we set our mind, how we set our attitude. And a personality is simply a, a, a set of attitudes. It is not its own individual living nature or being. It's simply a repetition. And we change our attitude. We could change our personality as well. So that is systemic procedural existence at support which is basically the way that we systemize our prokaryote system. That means get food, sleep, eat, have uh, reproductional activities that lower our ability to, to be very keen with the facts that are around us. Now, people who are less emotional have the ability to already do that without really getting considerate with it. So, I mean, there is a plus and a negative in every single thing. Action orientation by face of relativity. So, it, this is basically meaning that if you're going to be forced to take an option, and it, it is life or death, you're going to take that option, even though if it might be biased, you're still going to take the better option of your own survival. Of, of who you are now if you don't then you go to another state which is survival and if you don't take that you go into observation and then though these states survival and observation and not taking the action orientation by relativity you end up being at the rock bottom so that's not good you end up getting very sick. Now we're going to move to this one from the negative response to momentary values. Routine of action. So you start bringing out a routine of action while you have negative responses. Foretold analysis. You, you listen to other people and what they analyze, but you haven't really considered that as part of your opinion. But now you do. And you think that, oh, I have to change myself. I have to be better. Which is sometimes something you think you came up on your own. But actually you were forced in a negative situation by someone else who told you to be that way. Now, self-analysis, disapproval. Dispersed, I mean. Meaning that you, you lose yourself over time. Manipulated thin belief structure. Then you start losing your, your sanity, basically. You start not understanding where's real, where's nice. And then you become self-deceptive, disorganized of external stimuli. You shut down yourself uh, to explore any kind of form of uh, life and society and you just become antisocial basically okay so we discussed a few so you guys get some good ideas right for blueprints you could use these in some way okay positive momentary audience decision to self-loyal introverted freedom of substance evaluation procedure now you see in the system the longer the square that are sorry the rectangle the better it will be for you to have this perspective. So we're going to move on to the polarized worlds here. Individual self-argument relativity helps you get the thought of factual boundaries, organization, because everything is relative, to intermixed place values, getting yourself confused, now going through scientific geometric objective data, which you will go through... Then you'll go through, I think, theory of relativity, no, feel, sorry, I, I lost myself a bit. The already seen good old forgotten past and missed. So you're going to go through the visionary experience of being slow minded. And then you're going to go to instant reflected gratification, which you're going to want to reflect from your current situation, which creates a disbalance in the way that your energy is manifested in your body. So because of that, we go into positive momentary decision to self-loyal influence freedom from evaluation procedure. And that leads to congruent emotional fields or relevance of the finance, boxed in values, facts, assured size, systemic procedural existence, support, action orientation by force of relativity. So technically your body gives you those conditions for you to force yourself to be better. Now in this diagram, I use this. Hold on, sorry. 
and this one doesn't connect with this one because this one will only give you this much perspective of the whole of sizing up for action but if you take two let's say this category this category this category and you consider these two i weight them to be just enough to take the area field of this uh, corner to find out sizing up for action and to match values that are equivalent in size to each other in the categorical sense that they are in to be able to find the best solution which is something similar to this kind of word placement okay so <clears throat> this is a very good belief system sharp realistic contraction self-perceived goal interaction with the unknown follow-up on judgmental perception of boxton theories holism moved in a piece of assurance and exploration so that is basically what you kind of had there in small facts accumulated into a large piece okay now we're gonna go and we're gonna see game theory to win is to play by yourself that's basically why i came up with the idea of game theory theory of relativity uh, the separatist control was always a collective activity. I came up with that quote for the Illuminati matrix system. If it does exist, I kind of sort of believe it could be possibly existing. Now we're going to go and we're going to go like, let's say we split our energy levels because we felt really down or something or we're very confused. So we go and we look at, let's say, energy. This connectivity of the self and formal expected analysis. Synthesis thinking. The unknown foreseen of the state of mind. Neurocognitive takeover. This one, when a neurocognitive takeover happens, the lower you go on the brain, the harder it's going to be for you to recover. So you got to consider that and screw that shit. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to middle unassurance bias to relativity, subjective thinking. Okay, I'm going to let you read them. A perfectual analysis getting rid of objective thinking. Analysis undefined motions logic. Okay. So now we got that down. I mean, we got the shamans down. And kind of, I'll let you see it in a whole perspective. My thought, physical, our, our thoughts get divided. If they're not equal, then we get, well, with physical uh, activity, we get visual memory. With uh, mindful activity, we get synthesis mind. Minds, basically, I valued it chemically as well. So here's another big fact that you guys could utilize in your life. Let me see misconceptions or occurrences of perceived unknown observations consolidating extra motives for known facts that's what you need to do that's basically a perception of where it would be uh, considered for people to go there's insurance open mind in his development okay we're gonna go here trial and error evil evil constantly of values and percentage neurological identity nihilism absolute zero dark hole that's where people are after they go through the shamanist experience in their life because that is how it's associated to the psychological stereotype mindful abstraction disorder self facial the facial place mode adaptation misleading physical thoughts okay so that's basically it for this system. I'm going to go through it silently. And then we're going to start the next one, which is going to be part two. We're going to talk about this in larger detail. Right, it's self-explanatory, so just observe it. Okay.
I hope you guys liked it, and I hope my explanation was okay, or not, I don't know, because I've been fed Zyprexa pills and Abilify, and I feel like crap, because I don't feel as much emotions as I usually do, and I've not been taking a pill for two days, so I'm really confused and sorry if my voice is like stressed out or something, because, yeah, because I don't, I don't know, I, I usually like to have... Um, emotions generally speaking yeah even though i showed them very little wise like i'm not too exaggerate but not having them is just horrible so hope you guys have a good day and make sure to dislike anything that has to do with uh, industries uh, approving pills thank you bye, -bye.